What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today is a very rainy day so I'm just going to go out and do a little bit of fun fishing and I'm actually going to be going to the golf course today because no one's going to be out in this weather and a few of these ponds are actually salt water so we might get into some redfish today, sea trout, flounder, sometimes there's snook and tarpon in them too so let's get to it. We've made it down to the pond. It's been a minute since I've been here so hopefully there's going to be some good fish biting and I've got some really nice sized live shrimp so I'm optimistic. Already, dude. It's a ladyfish. That was about a three second little cast there. There he goes. All right, let's get this live mullet down there. That might have been a tarpon, honestly. Oh my god, I just got eight. We're on, we're on, on the live mullet. Six pound test. Oh my God, is that a snook? Or is that a redfish? What is that? That's a redfish. At first I thought it was a snook. <laughs> Got really excited there. Gotcha. That's a good, nice little puppy drum right there. You know, little 13 inch fish, but tons of fun on that six pound test. Let them back down. That's species number two. I wonder how many we're gonna get today. No, dude. Oh, they keep biting them, but they're they're just kind of like killing them and then dropping them. All right, let's let them eat them for a sec. Got them. What are we working with here? Probably another red. Yep. Get up here. Oh wow, that is a beautiful fish. This guy's spots are really pretty. Check out the spots on that guy right there. Blue tail, two on the tail. That is so pretty. Beautiful little red right there. And there he goes. There we go. Oh, that had to be a ladyfish. That thing was moving so quick. Oh, he's still on. Oh my God. That right there is a croaker on a mud minnow. Very greedy little guy. Get in here. That's a pinfish. I believe that's the first pinfish of the day, so that's gonna be species number four. We've got croaker, ladyfish, pinfish, and reds. All right, y'all, so I've got this dead shrimp on right now. I'm literally just going to cast it out and reel it on the surface and see if the ladyfish will just come up and pop it. Ooh. Maybe not. Maybe they're not going to be that cool for us. Oh, gosh, he just destroyed it. All right, they're fired up right in this little pocket. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's fighting a little harder. This little guy, this fish is fighting a little harder. What is it? Is this a lady? Oh, it's a mangrove snapper. All right, y'all, so the GoPro just turned off for whatever reason, and man, I just caught this really cool species. That's actually a mangrove snapper. Not very common in shore in South Carolina. Very common down in Florida. Let's get him back in the water here. That's a really cool little catch. All right guys, so here's species number five of the day, a beautiful mangrove snapper. Check out the colors on him. It's got that little blue under its eye, red, a little bit of green almost. The fins are lit up. That's just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. There he goes. All right, so we've got a big mess of dead shrimp on a hook right here. Maybe something bigger will come and find it, but you know, I got my bets on Miss Lady. She's probably gonna come and find it real quick here. Oh, she already found it. Got her. Gosh, they are so fast. I can't even like reel fast enough to keep tension with them and they just get off. All right, I'm gonna try to do my little topwater technique right here. Oh, we got it, topwater, baby. <laughs> okay, that was cool. Poor man's tarpon. And there are real tarpon in here. My friends have caught them before, so. Back down, boy. 
top water. Come on, top water fish. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Got to entertain yourself when there's only ladyfish. Oh, come on. Oh, they're all right here. Ready? Got him. Crushed it. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That is so small. <laughs> if I catch a really small ladyfish, like maybe half this size, I'll put them back out there for a live bait. Maybe there's a big redfish in here. More topwater action right here, folks. Oh, get it. Oh, we got Oh, he's off. <laughs> I'm going to try throwing in the bear hook. We're trying the bear hook. He's eating the bear hook. They're trying to eat the freaking bear hook, dude. All right, if I can catch a ladyfish on a bear hook, that's impressive. Oh my God, they're going for it. These ladyfish are so stupid. They're going for it. Come on, eat the bear hook. Oh, I just got, come on. There's a hundred of you following the bear hook in, dude. Eat it. There we go. On the bear hook, boys. Don't even need bait. Look at that. That just proves how stupid these fish are. No bait needed. <laughs> we got the prime lure right here. Nice little circle hook. You know, that'll get the job done. Monster ladyfish all day, baby. All right, my GoPro's at 0%, so this is going to be the last cast, and then I'm going to change the battery, and then I'll probably start using some live mullet. All right, we got one. Yay! All right. Don't worry, y'all. I will not include every ladyfish that I catch, because if I did, this would be an hour and a half long video, and you would be very bored. So, yeah. We're going to have to cut probably 100 of these guys out. Nope, not a ladyfish. Not a ladyfish. Probably a red. Ooh, nice red. Yeah, thank you. Decent red. <laughs> there he is. Little slot red, 17 inch or so. There he goes. All right, y'all, we just got picked up. Oh, get out of there. Decent red, dude. Holy crap. Hey, man. Not catching tarpon, but that's two nice reds. Slot size fish. I think this one's a little bigger than the first one. Oh man. Urgh, get up here. Dude, that's really a nice fish. Yeah, it's definitely bigger than the first one. That's probably a, you know, maybe approaching 18 inches right there. All right, y'all, there is a nice redfish right there. I was hoping he was going to be a tarpon, but man, I'm not disappointed. You can't complain about a quality fish like that. It's kind of tough to release him right here, so I'm just going to give him a little toss out into the deeper water. He swam off good. Here we go. Oh my gosh. That's probably another red. That was on the big mullet. Oh yeah. Yep, another nice red. Oh gosh, dude, this is fun. Oh, I think they, they just keep upgrading. That one's 
right around the same size as the other one, maybe a little bigger. Oh yeah, he's definitely heavier, thicker fish. There's our third nice redfish from this pond. This one's probably, you know, around 18 inches, but it's definitely a lot fatter and healthier than that last one we got. So let's let him back down. We're gonna do the same thing we did with that last fish. Just give him a little toss and he's good to go. Oh my God, this battery is unbelievable, dude. Got him. Another red, dude. There are so many reds that are feeding right now. This one feels nice. Dude, slaying the reds. This one I think is the biggest of the day. They just keep getting bigger. Yep. Oh, <laughs> flipping 20 inch redfish boys. Get a look at that fish. That's more than 20 inches. That's probably 22 inches, man. Yet another beautiful redfish right here, guys. They just keep getting bigger for us, man. This one's probably 21 inches long and just absolutely beautiful. Perfect specimen, that's for sure. All right, let's let him back down. Try to give this guy somewhat decent little drop in. Oh, come on. You got it, you got it. There he goes. Kicking off, sweet. Well, y'all, I'm completely out of bait, so I've got to head home because I've got no artificials. Wow, that is a strong wind. One sec. I've got to stay down in the shrubs to stay out of the wind here, but as I was saying, I'm completely out of bait, and I had a great time out here today catching some redfish. The tarpon is still elusive, but I am gonna get my revenge soon, so be on the lookout for that video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.